everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a full gameplay of Yon in which I'll teach you guys how to play Yon and also I'll give you some tips and I'll also tell you why Yon is in my opinion one of the strongest marksmen in the game. So Yon is actually underrated because uh, most of the people tend to think that he is like a beginner uh, level marksman hero uh, or titan but uh, Yarn is actually really powerful. He deals the highest damage among all the marksmen because of his burst. And uh, in this video, I'll teach you guys the pros and cons of Yarn and also how to counter him and what are all the heroes that he can counter. And I'll also give you guys a lot of tips on how to avoid being ganked while farming. So watch this video till the end and yarn is worth uh, learning so a lot of you guys have been asking me uh, there are a lot of titans please recommend uh, some titans so that we can learn them instead of wasting time on wrong titans so yarn is definitely definitely one of the marksmen that i will recommend you guys to learn and start playing with because he is so powerful and uh, he is now being picked in even very higher league uh, tournament matches because of how much damage he deals and yarn players who have been playing him for really long time will know how much damage he can deal even though he doesn't deal true damage he can still one shot warriors and tanks in the late game and this skin also has a really cool recall effect it's a legendary skin so it will have a recall effect and uh, yeah it's like summoning jutsu from naruto and uh, you summon yourself to the altar yeah see now the main reason why i would recommend you guys to start playing yawn is that he deals area damage now most of the marksmen in the game are single target titans they only deal damage to one hero if you use your auto attack but yawn has his burst which will allow him to deal damage to all the enemies in range and it's not just any normal damage he just one shot you in the late game yawn is like the damage machine uh, and you will see that in this game itself so uh, starting of the game you need to focus on farming i went to the abyssal lane and cleared my wave and then i'm coming back to the middle lane because our mage is not here and i just wanted to get some gold uh, you, i usually won't recommend you doing this but yeah we came here and it looks like uh, omen is the support in enemy team and valhain is the marksman and they are trying to get the tower so this is something really bad guys don't try to attack the tower before four minutes it won't uh, fall because it will have a shield as you if you pay close close attention to the tower see here there is a seal like thing going on around it as as long as it has that it, it is very uh, like indestructible and it will take you like a lot of uh, firepower to break down the turret so here i'm just getting the stacks and the main thing about yarn is that in order to maximize your damage you don't you should not move while using this burst so every every time you uh, use five four auto attacks five auto attacks the uh, next one will get enhanced to deal this burst damage he'll just stand there like a machine gun and deal damage but do while doing that uh, burst you should not move i repeat while you're using the burst ability you should not move because if you move it will get cancelled also you should stop pressing your auto attack button don't keep spamming it attack five times and then attack one more and then take your hand off your auto attack that is uh, how you can do the burst otherwise it will automatically stop and uh, you will uh, not be able to deal maximum damage from that burst so your second ability can be used to snipe enemies across the map and it won't deal damage to creeps and uh, minions but if you are lucky you can steal the enemy sage buff or might buff with yarn and uh, in order to do that you should be able to time it properly yarn's second ability is actually area damage ability so what you can do is when you know that the enemy jungler is getting a sage buff or any creep uh, snipe and if you manage to hit the enemy jungler if they are standing close to the buff the buff will also die so th there is a chance uh, for you to steal 
enemy buffs or uh, things like that but it is very hard and uh, i'm just uh, putting it out there that it is possible and here lumber over extended and died uh, okay guys now let me tell you guys how to avoid getting ganked so as as a marksman the main problem is uh, the enemy team will try their best to not let you farm and uh, get gold uh, the reason they are doing that is because marksman deal the most damage in the late game so if you shut down the marksman in the early game itself he won't be able to perform in the late game and uh, your team won't have enough damage so in order to avoid that the main thing that you can do is don't stand in your lane uh, like a statue clear the waves and then go away go somewhere don't be so predictable that is the main point i can give you always watch out for the map and whenever you clear your lane don't stand inside your tower waiting for the next minions to come if you do that the opponents will automatically predict that uh, the next time when their jungler is also here all three of them will jump into your tower and kill you support marksman and jungler so what you can do is uh, like what you saw me doing clear the minions and then just roam away somewhere go to your jungle don't go in the river if you go through the middle of the map in the river you will get killed uh, but you just uh, don't stay in your lane go to the middle lane just stand there and then go to the jungle and then when the next wave comes come back to your lane if you do that the opponents will be con confused as to uh, where yan is going every single time because they won't know your location Uh, so the whole point the of being avoiding uh, not getting ganked is uh, based on your ability to hide your location don't be so predictable that's all and also there is one more important thing that uh, tip that i can give you regarding this at 2 minutes their jungler will come to the abyssal lane so if abyssal lane is in the red buff side of the enemy so if you look at the map you can see where the enemy red buff is right the red color buff so the enemy jungler uh, the assassin will start from their blue buff and then come to their red buff and then come and attack you so this is the general timing in which the enemy mark enemy assassin will come and attack you and that is 2 minutes the first 2 minutes uh, at the second minute try to play as safe as possible stay behind because that is when the enemy jungler will be hiding in the brush so you can avoid getting ganked if you know this okay so i will repeat it again at 2 minutes the enemy assassin will come to your lane and you will know that if uh, you are watching the map and if you see that your lane is on the red red buff side of the enemy jungle so see the timer on the top your above your score 16 versus 8 uh, here right so the enemy assassin will come to your lane at second minute if you watch the timer and if it says minute 2 you should know that you should be very careful because that is when the enemy assassin will come and attack you so during that time try to stay as behind on the tower as possible and just try to clear the waves don't stand in front of the tower their support will jump on you and then they are attacking and they will kill you so if you die uh, it's going to be useless and here see this is what i said yan already started dealing damage because we have four equipments now and see one shot and this minion wave is gone and uh, like i said already while using that burst don't move start practicing yan is not very hard to play and see i am aiming i am uh, getting the angle i took four shots and then for the fifth burst shot i went uh, in such an angle that i can hit all the minions so javanry is very important when you are playing with yan in team fights also you can attack both the enemy marksman and the tank if you know how to position yourself like if you have played clash royale which i assume uh, most of you guys would have already played there is this magic archer right who can attack enemies behind like he does a piercing shot so that is the same concept with yawn also so you should know how to position yourself so that you can hit maximum number of enemies in a team fight and uh, if you have good jamantry you can pierce through the tank and also hit the mage and the marksman and kill them so guys now let me talk about how you can counter yawn so yawn 
has one big problem and that is he doesn't have any dash abilities. So if an assassin jumps on him, the only thing that he can do is fight back. He cannot run. And one more problem is that while using his burst, he cannot move right. So that becomes a very big problem for Yon and you can capitalize on that if you are playing Grag. Wait for Yon to charge up and when he is doing the burst shot, just pull him. Uh, he won't be moving anywhere and you will get a free fish from your hook. So these are the ways to counter Yon and for counter picks, I would recommend you guys to pick Brunhilda to counter Yon because she can outrange Yon, she can uh, use her ultimate from very far away and get a kill on Yon easily. So that is one way to counter him. And Liliana is also a solid counter because uh, she just one shots him instantly. So other than that, Yon as you can see here deals tons of damage to warriors and tanks and Yarn is very good against a very tanky team so for example if the enemies have warrior jungle warrior ds lane and a very tanky support like pain you can just pick Yarn. Yarn will uh, melt the tanks and warriors in the late game even without two damage so just use the build that i will share you now because it is really strong and having that fafnir style and allows you to melt tanks even better so that's gonna be it for today's video guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful. And if you did, make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. And I am uh, giving another reminder regarding the uh, event that we are conducting. We are giving out a legendary skin, epic skin and valor skin. So make sure to join our discord server. We have like 115 members now I guess. And one of them, three of them will be receiving these skins. So don't miss out on this opportunity guys. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you all have a really great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.